All right, Brian, 19 minutes after 6, although some businesses in Wisconsin are opening back up, restaurants in Milwaukee County are only allowed to continue serving carryout or delivery orders. In today's We're Open series, Delaney Bry takes us to Cudahy, where Papa Luigi's has been passed down for generations. Building Papa Luigi's from the ground up, Sal Papora couldn't have been happier when his two sons, Frank and Salvatore, took the reins. Frankie started uh, taking over the business when he was 17. Uh, Tori jumped in right after college when he was uh, 22. With decades of experience between father and sons, nothing could have prepared them for COVID-19. The worst case scenario, when I'll never forget, was uh, when we were delivering pizzas when it was like 60 below zero with the windshield. I mean, it was a shock for everybody. All restaurants had to experience it and you had to adapt quickly, you know, so we're fortunate here. We had a pickup and a delivery business established. We had online ordering um, and we had the staff that, since we couldn't open the restaurant, we were able to keep employed by just packaging and working curbside. Even with their famous pizzas and pastas heading out the door, the Papouras still can't wait to offer guests a place to sit and eat. It's going to be a blessing to be able to talk to people when they come in, uh, being able to eventually give someone a proper greeting whenever they come into the restaurants. Thanking them for their support through this pandemic. Just the other day, the St. Francis mayor came by and said, hey, I want to support your customers because they're helping you out. I want to support your business and gave us some money to take off of the bill for the next 20 customers that came into the door. As most establishments throughout Wisconsin, Papa Luigi's is a place built with love. And with the help of the community, Frank and Salvatore will get their wish to pass on Papa Luigi's to the next generation. It's been here, like my dad said, for 38 years. I want it to be here for 100 years. And the people of Cudahy, people of St. Francis, they've been making that possible. Delaney Bry, TMJ4 News. We know there may be some confusion as to city and county governments and who's doing what and still trying to come up with orders of their own after the Supreme Court decision. We do have a list of open businesses that we're updating daily at TMJ4.com slash open.